What you doing for Christmas? For what? For Christmas. What's Christmas? You know, what them boat mob brought over with them about Jesus. Who Jesus? You know Jesus. I don't know Jesus. That fella. What fella? That saviour fella. How? Hey, what do he save? People, eh? Oh. You're like a fireman? Not Ambulance not. mob? Nothing. He does miracle things, like magic mob. Ah, like clever man. Sort of. He died on the cross for the mob sins. Well, that doesn't sound very clever. Uh, he did it for love. Ah. Oh. So where's that name from? Jesus. Middle East, eh? Ah, Alice Springs. I know further, overseas, like Israel. <sighs> yeah, that's where that Wonder Woman from. You reckon they mob? Maybe. She's proper strong, they can fly, and he can walk on water. Hey, talking about walking, I'm gonna buy myself a pair of shoes. A pair of what? Shoes. Yeah, hey, so what? Your foot too good for Mother Earth now that you've got Christmas. Nah, hey, that's what you do, you buy things. <sighs> Sound very material this Christmas. Talking about material, I'm gonna buy you a deadly new lap lap. Proper soft on your fork too. Ah, how <laughs> soft. Proper all out one time soft. Nah, you're right. Go on, you gave your Christmas. I'm gonna stay here and have myself a sexy one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> because it's time for a very sexy Christmas. Let me introduce you to your host tonight. He's fresh off the set of Thor Ragnarok and he's always ready to help Santa empty his sack. He is, of course, the very sexy Stephen Oliver. Hello, sexy people out there in sexy land. Uh, welcome to a very sexy Christmas. I'm your sexy host, Stephen Oliver, and I'll be bringing you, sexy mob, a whole heap of sexiness. Uh, that's whole spelt with a W, by the way, just in case there's any confusion. Now, you're probably wondering what the hell he made the show is about. Well, to be honest, so are we. Oh. Well, we've cram-packed the show with some of your favourite funny people, some studio stupidity and a whole bunch of Christmas stuff. Now, if you feel so inclined to get involved in the show, and I do encourage it, you can. This ain't no Q&A, um, unless it stands for queer and Aboriginal, but I ain't no Tony Jones. <laughs> so, I won't be flashing your gamma tweets up on my screen. Yep, see them buttons below me there? That's how you can get involved. Tell me how you're feeling throughout the show. I want to know. Well, not really, I don't care. But anyway, just like Santa, I will be watching. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of gammon, I mean sexy, I'd like to introduce you to my sexy co-host, Varushka. <laughs> how are you, my titter from another... Middle? Oh, thank you, darling. And let's face it, you need a snowflake on every Christmas tree, don't you? And let me tell you, I am so full of festive spirits. In fact, I'm more baked than a Christmas cake. <laughs> and let me tell you, I've got a beautiful Christmas pudding in one hand and a boat of custard in another. I'm so excited. <gasps> well, that's strange, because we don't have a cooking segment. Oh, what the hell, darling? It's Christmas! <laughs> Yes, it is. And it's all about getting together around the Christmas tree. Oh, which reminds me, we forgot to mention the elephant in the room. <sighs> oh, you don't mean <gasps> him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm referring to the metaphorical elephant. The fact that we've been here for almost two minutes and we haven't done a song yet. Oh, my God. What is the gay BC not paying us for? <laughs> Time to turn this into the slay BC. OK, BC? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to pianist extraordinaire, Stu Hunter. He's going to help us with a traditional Christmas song by Latino. Feliz Navidad.
didn't see that. What are you doing in my sexy home? But I'm glad you came, because now I can tell you all about my sexy Christmas hits with a sexy to the twist. My sexy Christmas album. <laughs> ABC Music presents a very sexy Christmas album. All your slutty favorites in black cappella. It's like sexy bells. Sexy bells, sexy bells, sexy all the way. I need me a sexy man, a sexy man that's gay. Hey, sexy bells, sexy bells, sexy all the way. So come to me, a sexy man, I won't turn you away. Hey, black the holes. Black the holes and make them black. Ah, illa you fly, you fly, you fly. Have some bully beef and damp. Ah, illa you fly, you fly, you fly. Fuck all ye hateful. Fuck all ye hateful. Hate me cause I'm beautiful. Fuck all ye hateful. I'm so sexy. Silent night, sexy night. Sign. Sign. Silent night. <gasps> Sexy night! Download or buy it today. Well, it wouldn't be the world's sexiest Christmas show without hearing from one of the sexiest people to don active wear, but just not on the Tonightly Show, which he is currently sexily on. Please welcome the very sexy Greta Lee Jackson. Oh, very sexy Christmas, very Stephen. Very sexy Christmas there you go. present. That's How are you, you, honey? Good, honey. Mwah. Oh, okay. Am I opening this now? Absolutely. Okay. <gasps> Shut up. And I'll... I think that's a horn. Yeah. Oh, you'd know about a horn, wouldn't you, Stephen? <laughs> a little rainbow mohawk. <gasps> Here, look. I have said to you'll understand. have to help me. I think the oh. interview will be over by the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll do this bit. Like... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. I mean, I might take it out of Bondi. You know, oh, take <laughs> Try to name myself a man. <laughs> <laughs> and we can ride off under the sunset on the back of this. You're very kindly <laughs> going to let the kids use it instead, though. Oh, thank you for that, hon. Oh, no worries. So how have you been? Oh, I've been all right. I've been all right. It's crazy this it's, time of year, isn't it? Oh, it's always crazy this time of year. Mm -hmm. A lot of crazy mm -hmm. things going mm -hmm. on. Now, I mentioned active wear yes. at the start. Yeah. Now... That is that went crazy. Uh, that like, did. That's like just over two years ago now, and um, it's still got a bit of life in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give them a bit of background on what the whole kind of parody of the active wear. Okay, was, so yeah. yeah, the active wear thing came about when Skitbox um, did, were doing a live show for the Fringe Festival, and. We were sitting around rehearsing and we realised we just sit around in our gym gear and we don't do anything. Like, we just sit around in this, this gear and we're not actually exercising. And so Sarah was like, oh, I think there's something in this. Next day she comes back, she's like, I've just had this song in my head, active wear, active wear. Good, you off to the gym? No, 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 I'm just going shopping in my active wear, active wear. Smoking on the street in my active wear. Active wear, active wear. Doing literally nothing in my active wear. And how many millions have you did get in the end? Oh, collectively, it's something like 100 million. Oh, crap, that's like, crazy. This, yeah, well, there's going to be someone going, wow. no, it's not, because on Facebook it's burnt. But, yeah. like, if, <laughs> if yeah, you... That was, yeah, I remember it was, it was yeah. crazy. Um, yeah. Speaking of active wear... Yes. ...and being physical and keeping in shape... Yeah. ...I've brought out a fitness video. OK. Yeah, fitness DVD. All right, just um, in time for that, Christmas. I would like to show you, because, I mean, maybe you can help it get 100 million views, because <laughs> it's going to be all the help it can get. I'll do my best. But, um, anyway, it's called Sexy Reindeer Voguing. Oh, my God. I know. Are you, are you, are you ready for so this? So ready. Are you, are you ready to give me tips? Yes. OK. Yes. Let, all right, let's, OK. Let's check out my awesome. Sexy Reindeer Voguing. Antlers. I'm a rain queer, I'm a rain queer, I'm a rain queer that's gay. Come in, reindeer, vogue with me and vogue those blues away. Hey! Dasha, Dancer, Prancer, Comet, Cupid, Donna, Vixen, Blitzen, Rudolph. Make sure that you buy it, buy it today. And if you can't afford it, then you wait till payday for how much? Twenty nine ninety five. Twenty nine ninety five. I mean, bargain. Randy and Bogey. Buy two. Day, 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 day. Yes. Uh, you know what I just realised? What? How annoying my voice is. <laughs> oh, 
Everybody's voice sounds annoying to them. <laughs> you no, know, no, no, no. This, this reminds me of um, my mother. I would always be, shut that foghorn up. They are two things that I never expected to see side by side. Reindeer voguing. Voguing. <laughs> <laughs> that was something I never expected me ever doing either was reindeer voguing. Who does your oh. choreography, Stephen? Oh, you know, international superstar, me. OK. <laughs> Good. That's probably so bad. No, who to hire. No. <laughs> Speaking about sexy, yeah. you're on a sexy new show oh, with yeah. the sexy host. He is sexy, isn't he? Yeah, he's a little Tom bit sexy. Tom Ballard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as sexy as me, Tom, but yeah, you're a little bit sexy. We'll have a, we'll have a little poll on, on we'll Facebook. Have, we'll have a sexy poll. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it's been going <laughs> tonightly. It's um, on ABC Comedy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going to be on right after this at 9 o'clock. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, um, let's move on to another segment that you might love. OK. Um, it's called Willy Sexy. Are you willing to play it? Oh, you know I am. Oh, come on, because you're really sexy, that's why. <laughs> oh, thanks. So, follow me over here. OK. Follow me to the Wheel of Sexiness. Wow. Welcome, <gasps> sexy host and oh. darling guest. I'm excited. And hold on to your sleigh bells, because okay. it's time for Wheelie Sexy! That's right. Basically, we borrowed the chocolate wheel from the Townsville RSL and stuck a whole lot of Australian celebrities' faces on it. And what you need to do is spin the wheel, and whoever it lands on, you need to tell us whether you're going to pash, dash, or marry them. OK, let's do it. How about you, Greta? Give it a spin. OK, OK. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, this could not have gone better. <laughs> Dan Sultan. <laughs> How sexy. Now, wh what are you going to do with him? OK, um, everything but the dash. <gasps> I understand. I understand. So sultry. Sultry, Sultan. How about you, my darling? Oh, am I game? Well, I think you okay, are. OK, let me give it a big spin. How crazy, how crazy, how crazy. And you have... Oh, please help me. Beyonce! Um... Dash. Because oh, no. my friend would kill me. <laughs> oh, no. That's Dash. his woman, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, well, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, you know, I think it's only fair that I give it a go as well. You have to. I mean, let's, let's oh. face it, I'm going to spin it like when I was on the Lazy Susan at the office Christmas party. Let's have a look, and we've got... Oh, my God! Pauline Hanson. Oh, oh yes. well, I'm definitely going to dash in the opposite direction, <laughs> let me tell you, because in any relationship with her, I'd be serving fish and she's definitely got the chips on her shoulder. <laughs> Bless her. Oh. Oh. Who's there? I said, who's there? I got biggest mob cousins that come out for Christmas feed. They'll smash you. Oh. I'm not mucking around. Oh. Hey, you big guy slut. You know, you big living slut. Relax your big jumpy hole there. Don't you recognise me? Jimmy? Yes, Jimmy. Well, I used to be. I go by another name these days. I thought, you know, after the boomerang demonstration? Uh, yeah, 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 that, that happened. Right after I threw the boomerang, I turned to the crowd and then bang! Right on the back of their head. I suppose that's what I get for partying up the night before, right? Yeah, so what are you doing here? Oh, it's part of my job. <coughs> job? Yes, job. I'm the ghost of Christmas charge. The ghost of Christmas charge? The ghost of Christmas charge. You know, charge. Yeah, I know what charge is. I just thought that maybe you meant the ghost of Christmas past? Well, actually, I'm both. Well, how does that work? Well, you used to charge up a lot in the past. You'd love to charge. Yeah, I did, but not these days. I've got uh, too much shit to do. Ah, right, well, look at you now, eh? Sorry? Oh, Mr. I don't charge up anymore. Well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong? Seriously? You were the life of the Christmas office party. You were that entertaining, people didn't even care if you didn't buy them a secret Santa or not. Yeah, well, I had to save money for charge. Exactly. Well, mm. I'm older now? Mm, I can tell. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Probably can't even break it down on the dance floor anymore. Ah, I can break it down? <laughs> More like break your hip. Ah, break you in a minute. Oh, you can't. I'm a ghost, remember? Well, I'll get my ghost cousin to smash you. Yeah, what ghost cousin? Ah, I've got biggest mob ghost cousin. You've got no ghost cousin? Ah, biggest mob. Yeah, biggest mob of lies, that's what you got. Ah, not even. Well, no, nah, not even make out. You now. I don't make out. How the time? What time? That time there. Uh, where time? Uh, you know. I don't know. Exactly. What just happened then? I just told you. 
Now get, before I bring my cousin to come to your smoking ceremony. Oh, you wouldn't dare do that. How dare all out? I'd rather you could lift a smoke than your charged up stinking breath. Now get. This is not how it was meant to go. Yeah, well, I say life's unfair, but you're a ghost. Now hurry up before I start grabbing gum leaves. Oh, all right, all right, I'm going. You party pooper. Yeah, whatever. You big transparent hole. I think it might be time for another guest. I think you're right. Who have we got? Well, you might know her as the sexy receptionist from M or the sexy thong mum from Black Comedy. Oh, my God, you don't mean. I certainly do. Is it really? It really is. Who is it? It is, of course, the gorgeous Elaine Crombie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a lot. Thank you. Please welcome. Well, hello. Oh, mwah. Mwah. Here you go. For me. Oh my God, thank you. Oh, shut your mouth. Take it out, come on. How do you know what to give me? But how they open already? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay, you know what do we got? I was waiting back behind those curtains for. Oh, uh, look, remind me of home. I know. There's two in there, so can I have one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can have that. Can we can have the grapes? Yeah, I know. I'm going to lay for the couch. Have some. Feel yeah, yeah. Like. <laughs> oh, do you want to do that here? Go, 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 go. You come on here. the couch. Okay, okay. Kevin, I'll have sexy Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, let me do it. Oh, go on, go on. Ready? Let me. Wait, where's that camera? Yeah. Come on, let's That made me choke. No, no. If I choke on it. Well, you just take it out. Ready, <laughs> ready, ready? Go, go, go. Oh, mm. the, uh, there's a stem. Sorry. There's a stem. <laughs> so, Stephen, welcome. How are you? I'm good. You got your own couch. I, I know, I could lay and up. And your on. own drag queen, look like. I Rushka, know, you've got I've your got own my own Rushka. Rushka, my yeah. Rushka. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. But, yeah, okay. talking about you coming into your own. So, um, Kiki and Kitty come out, like, uh, last week. What's the premise behind Kiki and Kitty? What's the story about it? So, Kiki... <laughs> Sorry, I was just burping because of the grapes that I've been munching on. <laughs> <That was there. laughs> if there's a knife around here, I'll slice this mango. <laughs> Give us salt and vinegar. <laughs> yeah, but I'm taking this home with me. Um, no, really, I am. Uh, so, uh, Kiki and Kitty is about a girl who wakes up one morning and finds that her vagina has come to life. And I play Kitty. Yeah. The Virgin, the Vagina. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, I just kind of put Kiki through her, through her paces to, you know, get a bit of self-confidence and oh, okay. to give her a bit of empowerment. To put herself and, out there and... Yeah, yeah. And, take, and own herself and own me. And, yeah, you know. own her womanhood. Own her womanhood. I think we should have a look at it. Titter. Chill. Titter. Mm -hmm. Why are you drinking so early? Wait. Are you my cousin? No. Not your cousin. Is every drinking black person your cousin? It's a bit racist. Who are you? Kitty. <laughs> I'm your vagina. I must still be drunk. Still really, really oh. drunk. Anyway, tell us now about so what happened so at the premiere. So we were at the premiere. I'm sorry, Andrew and Michael. <laughs> Love you guys. And the boys are down there and they're in my periphery, you know, and we're watching it. And then the first... Um, the first dildo is present. <laughs> the first dildo... Actually, I think, it was, I think it was that first episode. Anyway, the first dildo is shown on the screen and all I can, all I can feel are these heads go like that. <laughs> How did they go? And I was like, and, that, and you know, and, the key, and, and Kiki's there with the dildo, you know. And I was like, in my head, I'm going, oh, my sons. <laughs> and those boys are like, Mum. <laughs> they were like, Mum, what did you, what are we watching right now, Mum? <laughs> oh, bless these fellas. But you know, that's yeah. life with Mum. Anyway, totally. I was so deadly to have you on my show. Oh. Thank you thank for the you. present that you already had most of them things there, but you can have that mango back as a present. Thank you. Because you know how mango. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, well, thank you, cuz. No worries. And, um, <laughs> sexy Christmas. 
You too. Have a wow. sexy Christmas. Let's do it. Let's sexy, 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 sexy. And body walls. And body walls. Let's body wall all. Oh, yeah, okay. Come on. Come on. Bye. Grab an eggnog or a martini and put your feet up on a cushion. It's time for the sweet dulcet tones of Stephen Oliver with Arthur's Christmas Story. Hello, you mob. Uh, me, Arthur, here. Uh, yeah, supposed to be doing Christmas carol for you, mob, but um, I've never been like them Christmas carols, you know. I've been trying to do that 12 days of Christmas, and yeah, I've been getting to day four, and it just proper annoy me, you know, true. So anyway, what I thought I'd do is um, I'd read a story for you, mob, because I like writing, you know, like I write big, small things. Like I've been writing Jessica Melboy, big, small letters, but she never been get back to me yet. But he write, you know, and I know she got big, small fans. So um, anyway, I thought I'd read my story for you, and it's called... Arthur's Christmas Story. Once upon a time, in the dream time, there was this place called Clong Curry, and it was proper hot, you know, like, it was that hot, the mob had to buy a talcum powder for their forks so they don't get rash. But uh, anyway, there was this one fella, you know, his name was Dinker, and yeah, they've been calling him Stinker because he fork been get sweaty and smelly, but never mind, there was this other fella too, you know, and darn, he was poor. He never had no money, so. Christmas was fucked. Anyway, that's the story. Hope you mob liked it. And, uh, you know, next week I might uh, read you mob another story. So, uh, yeah. Merry Christmas, you fly. <laughs> well, Stephen, all of your guests brought you presents, but there's nothing for me. Look on the piano, you silly bitch. You'll see there are presents for your present itch. You silly bitch. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my goodness, what have you got me? I'm so excited, let me see. <gasps> oh, you presented me with your chocolate donut and it's still got sprinkles on it. I, you know how much I love to sink my teeth into your chocolate donut and occasionally put my finger in it too, but oh no, I love it even more at the bottom. The donut is glazed and you know how much I love my donut glaze. Thank you, darling. Oh, there's more, hold on. Oh, perfect. Pork, I love a good pork at Christmas, I really do. And with pineapple, oh, there is nothing better than having your pork pulled through a golden circle, let me tell you. Oh, wait a second, what's this? Oh, I love it! Amazing! Mince tarts. Well, you are what you eat, let me tell you. And I am a mincing machine, Stephen. <laughs> I really am. You know, some people love their tarts open or topless, and some people like a top on a tart. But, you know, we all love to sink our teeth into their crusty bottom. Oh, they're so perfect. But you know what? I think there's something missing. And, you know, it's that kind of thing that when you get to that point in the Christmas lunch when you're sitting at the table and, and you know, when you look at the person opposite and they get that kind of look in their eye and you know what they want you to do. You know what I'm saying? So you just what? sneakily slide your arm under the table, you grab what they're offering and you give it a tug and then, bam, an explosion <laughs> of excitement. <gasps> do you think it could be? Oh, Stephen! A cracker. How perfect. <laughs> well, it's almost time for me to get some sexy, sexy beauty sleep. Not that I mean much. I mean, look at me with all this makeup on. But anyway, what I thought is what better way to say goodbye than wishing you all a very sexy Christmas. We wish you a sexy Christmas. We wish you a sexy Christmas We wish you a sexy Christmas And a sexy new year The tidings we bring To all sexy things We wish you a sexy Christmas And a sexy new year Now Bring us some sexy pudding mm. Now bring us some sexy 
You can carry away my show member, bitch. Stop now. Stop. And bring sexy right here. And a sexy new year. A big thanks to Elaine, to Greta, to Vavushka, Stu, and the deadliest Christmas carol of all, brother boy Luke Carroll. So thanks for joining us and having a sexy Christmas tonight. Remember though, not everybody feels sexy during the holiday season. In fact, some people can be feeling quite lonely this Christmas. So make sure that whatever you do, you not only have yourself a sexy Christmas, but make sure that a loved one or even a stranger has a sexy Christmas too. This is Stephen Oliver and all my sexy friends wishing you a sexy Christmas. We wish you a sexy Christmas. We wish you a sexy Christmas. We wish you a sexy Christmas and a sexy Thank you.